Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Daddy Annie. And if you're new here, bien venidos. Today's video is pretty much the collaboration that none of us asked for and none of us thought about before, but is here. This video is actually probably three or four weeks late now. Um, I actually wasn't going to record it, but then last night, I decided to put it on my search bar and I pretty much didn't see anybody my skin tone doing this review so that gave me more of a motivation to actually do this video and yes people I am talking about the elf and Chipotle collaboration um, I actually ordered this stuff when it came out I believe this came out on March 10th and uh, I can't multitask clearly so this collaboration I believe came out on March 10th and I went ahead and went on the website to see you know what it would be about when I first heard about this collaboration I was like what Chipotle and elf like what do those two things have in common nothing but here we are they ended up making a collaboration together so when it came out i went on the website because i wanted to try the eyeshadow so i went with the idea of getting the eyeshadow and then i saw the avocado beauty sponge and i wanted to get that too i wasn't really impressed by the lip gloss and the makeup bag that they also had so i didn't get it but the avocado beauty sponge was sold out so i was only able to get the eyeshadow so it comes in this purple box and comes with all this stuff but this is what it looks like it looks foily you know like the little lids that they put on like the bowls and stuff and listen as a former chipotle employee this right here it's weird okay when i worked at chipotle i asked for them to incorporate nachos into their menu but six years later or maybe seven years later now they decide to come up with makeup instead ain't that anyway so this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like it's very reflective so here we go elf times chipotle and i was going to take the wrapping off the eyeshadow but i'm not going to because that's where they have the names oh these colors oh i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know whenever i see eyeshadows like this i always think about just going neutral but i want to try something different maybe some color maybe some glitter and i guess this eyeshadow is going to help me with that so pretty much the eyeshadow names are named after chipotle item menu so you have the green which is lettuce and then you have like this glittery green which is guac uh you have this goldish color which is corn salsa and then you have like this pink actually i'm gonna show you as i do this ah, there we go and then you have this like pinky glittery which is mild salsa then you have this like brownish sandish brownish uh, eyeshadow which is pinto beans and then you have a darker shade black beans then you have white rice brown rice down here you have fajitas sofritas hot salsa and then we have green salsa oh god I actually have no idea what eyeshadow I'm going to be doing but I think I want to do I don't know I'll figure it out as I go and also I have some little updates <laughs> for you guys as to why this video is so late and I feel like every time I'm gonna record or plan on recording something ends up happening all right so I'm going to use this P Louise base and this is in the color four i bought this thing like more than six months ago and i'm now using it 
I decided to use it this time around because I feel like these eyeshadows are not going to show much on my skin tone. So I need to put a base that is going to help with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put my base down. I'm actually going to put some more. Um, and while I'll do this, I'll be talking to you guys to give you guys a little update so you guys kind of know what has been going on with me. So like I said, I placed this order on March 10th and it actually arrived on, I believe, March 17th or March 18th. I can't really remember, but at around that time, I wasn't in town because I had to go out of town to pick up my nephew because my sister had a family emergency. So March 10th, I ordered this eyeshadow and I believe somewhere throughout that week, I finally went to a doctor. I found a primary care provider and I went to see her and I told her all about my condition. As you guys know, I suffer from PCOS and in the past few years, my symptoms have gotten worse. So, went to my PCP. She actually recommended two medications. Um, one, which I know is called metformin, which is pretty much to deal with the symptoms of uh, pre-diabetes because people that have insulin resistance uh pcos have a high a high likelihood of becoming diabetic so she prescribed that and the other medication i cannot pronounce it uh but it's pretty much for excessive hair growth and those medications i think that's good enough i think yeah i think that's good enough i want to add a little bit more but i'm going to ease my way into this base because it's my first time using it and i don't want to overdo it so for the shadows i'm going to go with oh my god what did i do with that paper i believe this is pinto beans i'm going to start with pinto beans as a transition color and i'm going to pretty much put that around my crease so as i was saying okay good it's showing up good 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 so yeah so throughout the week i ended up going to my pcp she recommended me the pills and a few uh days before i went out of town i started taking the medication and the doctor did tell me that on my first and second day of taking metformin it was going to pretty much give me upset stomach and diarrhea i said okay and then she told me that eventually i was going to get used to it so i said all right i'm pretty much doing this you know to be able to handle the symptoms or what's the word decrease the symptoms so took the medication and i'm not gonna lie the first day of taking the medication um well not the first day i took the medication one day and the very next day i woke up at five in the morning and i'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what i did but use your imagination and <laughs> and that day i was messed up so i ended up going to the bathroom five in the morning i went back to sleep and whatever and i just made sure okay throughout the day i'll make sure i eat but I have to keep it light. So that happened and I continued to take the medication and about a week later, the symptoms of the medication started to hit me even harder. I was feeling nauseous, I was throwing up, I didn't have a lot of diarrhea but that was also one of the symptoms and pretty much anything and everything that I ate messed me up. And it got to the point where I didn't want to eat anything because I knew it was going to make me sick. And that didn't help me either. I'm going to put more transition shadow. So, yeah. So, 
it got bad and I was getting dizzy my stomach was getting crazy and to this day I actually still have like that weird sensation any weird smell that I smell makes me sick it's so weird and it's it got bad to the point where my mom actually thought I was pregnant and I told her no mom like that is not even the case but you know as the symptoms got worse she's like are you sure you're not pregnant are you sure I'm not gonna have a grand grandchild and I'm like nah it ain't happening so it's been pretty much two weeks of the symptoms and today i do feel a little bit better i am still like a little bit fatigue and stuff like that but since i had a little bit of energy i just decided you know what let me make this video and put it out since i already feel like this video is already delayed by weeks so here we are today not feeling 100 percent but gotta do what i have to do everybody keeps telling me oh just relax take it easy and this this and that but yesterday i was in bed all day and laying in bed all day hurts my back so i can't be doing that so i had to do something today so that's that for my transition colors oh I don't know if I want to go with green. You know what? Let me swatch these colors for you guys so you guys could see that. I actually should have done that already. But, ooh, this green. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do I want to do green though? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, so here are the swatches. Um this is guac and then no this is lettuce then this is guac then we have corn salsa mild salsa pinto beans which is the color that i have in my transition um shade and then we have black beans then we have white rice and then brown rice then we have fajitas and then we have sofritas which you could pretty much barely see it. Then we have hot salsa and green salsa. I like the um, hot salsa. It's a nice orangey tone, but I don't like that it's glittery. So I'm probably not going to use that. Um, Looking at these colors, oh lord. Um, I want to use guac. I'm scared. I think I'm going to use lettuce guac and i'll probably use black beans on like my crease area to you know like tone it down a bit i don't really do like bright or shimmery colors so yeah let's go with that let me wipe this off my hands and then continue with the eyeshadow let me go in with lettuce i am scared of this color mm. okay I always feel like me adding bright colors to my skin tone is not gonna look good and I have kind of made it a point to keep trying colors but I'm just terrified I'm always scared that I'm gonna look crazy but I'm going to give it a try. Also, another update um, that I wanted to give you guys was about my mom. And before I do that, I actually want to say thank you. Um, I was very hesitant about putting my birthday vlog, especially with that emotional burst, outburst, not even outburst, but that emotional breakdown that I had that morning and you guys received it really well and uh, some of you guys reached out to me through my social media mainly my instagram wishing my mom a speedy recovery and making sure that i was okay so first and foremost from the bottom of my heart i want to say thank you and my mom is doing very good pretty much she is recovered she does have um 
some symptoms. Uh, actually, a lot of you guys don't know, and I'm comfortable saying it now because she's out of the woods, but my mom had COVID, and it was really, really, really bad. Um, but she is COVID-free. She actually just had her vaccine, um, I think, last week. So she's doing pretty good. And the only bad thing, even though she has recovered, um, she still has lingering symptoms. She does get fatigue from time to time and also she does get memory loss. But the doctor did say that that is going to get better, which I hope because that's like crazy. And honestly, to the people that think that COVID is a hoax or whatever, listen i was terrified and i just want to say covid is very real and it's very serious and that's all i'm gonna say about it because i don't want to get emotional okay so i'm going to go ahead and put guac on top of lettuce <laughs> that just remind me of my chipotle days um but i want to spray my brush so i can't find my all-nighter setting spray so i'm gonna have to use um this fancy beauty makeup refreshing spray and i'm going to wet my brush with it so that the green glittery eyeshadow will stick i am nervous about this one Okay, that's not bad. Okay. I think I could do this. I can pull this off. I think I need a flatter brush for this because this is too big. I have this smaller brush. I think that's going to work better. Especially for my inner corner. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Then I'm going to go back with Pinto Beans again to blend in between so it won't look like I have any harsh lines. But first, let's go to this side. You guys have no idea how scary this is for me. I am not good with colors and I hate things that are glittery because it gets everywhere all right going back to my transition brush and I'm actually going to use pinto beans and a tad bit of lettuce to blend in between these two shadows Okay. Yeah, very good. Okay, now I am actually going to go with black beans. I'm debating if I want to do black beans or just do the whole thing green. Oh, God. You guys have no idea. <laughs> good 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 okay i'm just gonna do a little bit more a little bit more that way oh god all right think i think that's good it's very green i'm actually liking how this is turning out so it's like the nerves are going down a little bit um another update that i have for you guys is that um remember when i made my uh 2021 goals and i wanted to upgrade my youtube equipment well guess what i ordered my camera and it arrived but i have to play around with it and you know get to not get to know but learn um about the camera and stuff before i start making videos with it but i'm really excited about that and uh, okay 
Okay, I don't like this eyeshadow. Okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Just gonna put a little bit more black beans. Saying these colors is kind of weird. Like I'm putting a little bit of black beans in my crease. <laughs> okay. This could actually be a nice like night uh shadow, like a nighttime eyeshadow. But you know, there's COVID going on. So where the heck am I going? But yeah, this would be a nice like not really a date night look. Or maybe you can make it into a day night look if you're that extra, but this would be a nice eyeshadow to do when you're like going somewhere. You know, whether it's date now or date night or even out to dancing. You know, if you're extra like me, I would do something like that. I'm going to just go back with the brush that I use for lettuce and guac. And I'm just going to pretty much go over and on top and then I'm just going to blend everything in with a clean brush okay um last update I think that I have for you guys is that by the time you guys watch this video because I'm going to make sure that this video goes up on a Thursday I'm trying to just keep that as my schedule to put out videos Thursdays and by the time you guys see this video I am actually going to be recovering from LASIK because I'm going to undergo LASIK surgery um a lot of you guys don't know that I have bad eyesight but I do and I finally decided to do LASIK so yeah I think I'm done with my eyeshadow or at least for now so I'm going to go ahead and do my face off camera because I want this video to just pretty much highlight the Chipotle and Elf collaboration. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. You guys, so I am almost done. I went ahead and did foundation, concealer, a little bit of contour, and I am not fully done with my face just yet, but I want to finish up my eyes. So I'm going to do two, three things actually. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of Pinto Beans and a little bit of the lettuce shade under my eye. Now I'm going to put Pinto Beans first and just to Taking up my eyes a little bit. I also went ahead and put um white liner under my eyes as well because I want my eyes to pop. So okay. Now I'm going to go with a little bit of lettuce, but let me clean my brush first. Just a little bit. And you guys, I uh, need to vent. This is, I think, my last vent of the day. Um, You guys know that I do makeup videos. Well, I try to do a little bit of everything on my channel because I just don't want to be known for doing just one thing. But you guys know that I do makeup videos and whatnot and... Every time I do my makeup, I be happy with the makeup looks that I do and stuff. But one of the biggest thing is like this little, I don't even know what it is. I used to think it was genetic and I also used to think that it was because of weight gain. But I realized that I always had that. So... I decided that at one point I'm going to do under eye fillers because people always ask me if I'm tired and every time I do a freaking makeup look I want my face to look nice and then I see that and it bothers me so oh lord 
that just took a lot to say that out loud but yeah eventually i'm definitely going to do um maybe fillers under my eyes because that right there it bothers me um i know that i have said many times that i'm going to tell you guys about the cosmetic surgery that i had but it's one of those things that honestly i am not necessarily 100 percent happy with the results so i don't really want to talk about it but okay so i got a brush um so yeah so like i was saying uh, i'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of corn salsa on my inner corner to brighten it up a little bit i wasn't going to but it's officially nighttime so why not and this look is giving me like nighttime vibes so why not just a tad bit but yeah um one of the reasons why i don't really want to talk about it is because i am big on opinions not opinions but i am always how can i say it um i guess you can say that i care about what people say sometimes you know and some people say oh you don't really you didn't really need it and blah 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 i understand that but it's something that i also wanted to do and yes it did not it did not necessarily come out like I wanted to, but it happened, so I might have to talk about it. I mean, I don't have to, but I want to just because I want that to be a learning experience for people. And I'm not saying that to say that what happened to me is going to happen to you, but I'm saying that to say that sometimes we want certain things in life and even if we have the money for it and stuff it might not come out the way you want to and i'm not saying this to discourage anybody hold up i feel like this is very bright on this side but yeah i'm not saying that necessarily to discourage anybody but you know these are one of the things that i didn't consider um when i did the procedure i did it obviously with the hopes that it was gonna come out the way I want to and it it did but it didn't at the same time so yeah but honestly one of the things that I'm most likely gonna do next is um do under right fillers because I want like under my eyes to be pretty much smooth for when I do makeup and also for the sake of me and uh, yeah so enough of that let me go ahead and finish my face off camera so what I'm going to do I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner so I can pop some lashes in and then I'm going to actually add a little bit of contour because even though I see it in my mirror it's not reflecting a lot on camera so I'm going to add a little bit this mirror is pissing me off a little bit more and uh, finish off this video so yeah all right you guys so I went ahead and uh, finished up my face and this is the final look I also changed my top I was gonna wear some earrings but I didn't feel like going through all that and I feel like I sound a little congested now so I need to just finish up this video and go lay down this is the final look using the elf uh, there we go the elf and chipotle collaboration um what do i think about the shadow i didn't use all the shadows but the shadows that i did use um i like the palette itself i actually never envisioned a collaboration between elf and uh, chipotle that's still insane to me but i mainly wanted to do this video because like i said at the beginning of the video i haven't seen anybody pretty much my skin tone trying out this palette so here it is on me and i got bold and went with the green and honestly i like it um i'm surprised that i like it this much and I really don't have anything bad to say about it. So, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> if you guys like this video make sure to leave this video a thumbs up comment down below have you used this palette yes or no what do you think about this collaboration let me know down below what did you think about this look let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on my next video ciao